What's up everybody? This is Mini here with another replay review and today I'm coming at you with one submitted by Twinkie Octopus, longtime viewer of the channel, and his experience playing a Hatsu Haru in Ranked. Now, before we get into this video, as always a quick reminder, don't forget to make sure to like the video, leave me a comment down below telling me your thoughts on the video Twinkie's play, and make sure to subscribe to the channel to help me continue to make more great content. So before we get into this game, let's take a look. Okay, so obviously this is bronze rank because it's tier six, two battleships, one cruiser, two DDs, and two subs. So this will be interesting. Immediate thoughts before I get into anything else. Uh, Fuso Ishmael should absolutely smash a Friedrich and a Daria because these are way worse than those. Leander and Devonshire are pretty similar, you have to be careful. Shinonome is a better version of a Hatsu, so you have to be careful there. And I'm not liking this pick at all as a Shirua. I don't see it as very valuable. You will have to be careful of the U69s though and the Shinonome. So let's get into this game and see how it goes. So, okay, so you're starting with the Norse spawn, and what map is this? This is New Dawn. Okay. So, let's see. Immediate thoughts as I start here, you should probably head for A. Taking B is tempting, but B is going to be a rough time to take it early on because of the fact that I was going to get there. I'm, I'm a little not sure about this speed boost pick. I know it gets you there faster, but... I'm, I'm not sold on the speed boost uh, usage there because, I mean, actually, well, this is a game you can probably get away with it because of the fact that there's only one cruiser and the, sh and the Shinonome and the Jirua. I'm not sold because I like to be able to get away early on so I can pop it if I need to escape or if I need to get away from Torps, especially because you don't have a Hydro, but yeah, I'm not going to fault you there on that one. I think that's a legitimate uh, choice. Uh, which ship to kill first? Try killing the DDs or subs first. Yeah, that makes sense. As long as it isn't your own. Well, you can't kill your own ships anymore, chat, so we're good. So I do like, like I said, you're taking A. Now, you don't have a lot of support here, so you're going to have to be careful. The Fuso's nice, but Fuso's going to have trouble getting it here, so you're going to have to watch that, and the cash lot's well behind you. Now, me personally, I would consider... Okay, so you're going to launch at the Friedrich. I like the quick shot reaction. My only hesitation with that is, are your torps going to get to him? Because he's one po he's 1.7 kilometers away from that. It looks like he's going forward fast enough that he's going to get them, but be careful. The other thing is that you launch them on such a tight trajectory that it'll have to be careful. And then you run into the issue, you do have a Shinonome. Now, Shinonome doesn't have you spotted yet, so you got the slight advantage there, which is useful, so you're gonna be able to get your guns turned. You also have the 900 more health, so you see him. Let's see the shots coming in. So you're gonna get the first salvo out. Ooh, nice hit. 2,000 off the Shino's a big chunk. I wouldn't turn out quite so much yet. Yeah, I wouldn't be turning out quite so much yet. You're gonna have time to turn out. He's got three sets of torps, so if he's not firing back at you and he's launching torps, I'd keep going straight briefly just so I could hit him some more. I mean, you got another 1,400 off, so you got 3,500. There we go. We turn back in. Got to fire blind on him because he's out there. And then another hit. Nicely done. So you're at 4,100 damage on him while you're full health, so that's a big start. Now, you do have to be careful at this point because we're going to see that there's a... I mean, you have the Shinomi, the Devonshire, and the Friedrich. How are those torps looking on the Friedrich. Oh my goodness. Okay, so your torps did space out nicely now. So they looked a lot tighter together, but I'll take back what I said. I thought they were going to be tighter, but they did space out nicely. And how many hits are you going to get on him? Three hits. Oh, that's juicy. That's juicy. And that's with a turnout. So you do get nice because he turns out there and he turns right into your torps. But hey, you know what? Doesn't matter whether it's luck or skill because they hit and that's the important thing. And you've just taken that Friedrich down to 18k. Because that's a 30,000 damage salvo you just put on him with Torps. Plus the fact that he's DCP'd. Good. You mentioned he DC'd. Just minor nitpick. DCP'd. DC'd could easily be confused as he uh, disconnected. So make sure you type DCP'd, but that's just a minor quibble. But good, you got A. The Devonshire is too far away. Now let's look at what's going on on the other side. 
Okay, so your Gallant's in a position, he's fighting U69 and Jura. There's a U69 there at Ishmael and Leander. So your other flank's in an awkward spot, but you're up 30,000 health because of that. You're just about to spot the Shinonome, and you gotta watch out for the Andrew Daria in the middle. So Shinonome spotted, shots immediately back to the Shinonome. Is that really a nude Shinonome? Avert thine eyes, audience, because that is a nude and lewd Shino. There we go, another 700 health off, and man, you were just giving it to the Shinonome. He's not doing anything to stop you. Another hit. Take a little bit of damage finally, but you're gonna smoke up. Smoke generator started. Okay, so my thoughts here. You're detected, so the smoke is nice for that. But I'm conflicted on the smoke, and here's why. There's a Devin behind you. And he's coming in. I'm 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 not the biggest fan of trying to take this with the Devon coming back in. I think this is an escape point. I mean, you're barely taking any damage, but like I said, there's a Devonshire right there, and he's going to be in the cap, and he's going to stop you. There's the Torps coming, so you do dodge the Torps because of the backup. That's good, though I think you would have been good if you went forward as well, so it doesn't matter. The point thing is you dodge. But yeah, I... I don't like this choice. You've got no support here. Now, your Jeru, the Jeru went down at sea, so you got that advantage. But I just, I, I, I don't like this choice a ton because of the fact that you saw him coming in. I would have just kept going straight forward because your job, what I would do is I would have gone straight for the Shino. Because you see, the Shino's come out already. And even here, I'd be turning for the Shino. I wouldn't be trying to hit the Devon. I'd be looking for the Shino, so, yeah, because you got a Shino at 5 kilometers. Yep, there we go, finally. Because you want to... Shooting the Shino gives you two things. One, he's at 5k health, so you can kill him. Two, it helps hopefully save your cash a lot. There we go, 1400. And you get very good advantage there in the fact that the Shino does it. Good. Good damage there, 1700, where you shoot all the way back. Good. Now, I'm going to pause here. I like that you're changing your shooting, because if we notice, and it's a little hard to see, but you guys can look, we can see how smashed the front is. Look at how pristine this back is. There is so much damage here to get, because saturation hasn't occurred yet. So we want to make sure, I would even shoot a little further back, because you can see you're still laying towards the front. But you're going to have him dead to rights, should be right there. Yep, there we go, good kill. Good kill. And now you successfully dodge those torps. Problem you've got, and once again the issue with the smoke, is now you've got an Andrea Daria in front of you that's going to detect you and there's nothing you can do about it. So at this point, this is why I wasn't the biggest fan of that smoke and disengagement at A. Uh, or trying to re-go into A. I didn't think you were going to get A. And it's worked out well. Your Shinonomi, the Shinonomi's gone down. You guys are up 2 kills and 50,000 health. But this is a place where you could smoke up, have the Daria still spotted, by the Fuso and just torp him to death. I mean, you're still gonna torp him to death, which I like. Okay, drop a set there. Okay, so you, you use the set there, you shoot. Here's where I would differ, and that's actually a play I probably would have made in the past. You keep one. The issue you run into by using one is that if he incaps your other torpedo tube, you're fucked. I would probably go for the speed boost and charge him, save the torpedo tubes for as I get close to him. Because he's right there and he's looking at you. So as soon as he shoots you, yeah, there's the speed boost, good. And you're going to get lucky, he's going to take the torp, and that's going to basically kill him. Good, you changed an arrow, okay, good. And once again, I would wait till I was right on the edge of him because... Okay, you do get the hit, nice. And there's the high caliber. Well done, well done. So at this point, the game's over with. They've Your team has completely run over C. The Daria is gone. That leaves them a low health Friedrich, a U69, and a Devonshire. Now, you got you got good that you didn't take too much damage there. But if I had to play that again, like I said, I would have used that smoke to either smoke up and sit there and farm the Daria with the Fusa still spotting him. And the Ishmael even spotting him from below if the Fusa is not able to stock as a smoke. Or I would have just speed boosted and gone around the side and torped him then. Because if your torps don't hit him there, once again, you're dealing with a uh, Daria that might have a heal coming up and can still shred you. Okay, so you do lose the cash lot, but the cash lot turns it right back around with the kill on the U69. And at this point, all your job is to keep dropping torps and keep going for damage on the ship, so... Yes, I love this choice. Why? Here's why I love this choice. 
Friedrich's got an Ishmael right there. And can I see, I forget, can I see what skills you're running? Nope, okay. Friedrich's got um, an Ishmael right in his face. You can open up and look at that, 1600 damage. And even though he's firing uh, secondaries at you, it's a German ship. He's not gonna hit a ton. There's the fire, you get behind the island. Friedrich's down to 5400, he DCPs. Another hit, there's another 700 damage, and that's good damage, that's good damage. Like, a, a lot of DD players forget that's good damage. And so, uh, Ishmael goes down, but Friedrich gets traded right out. You take a little bit more right as he dies, you're gonna take B. 61,000 damage, hot cal already is nicely done, and yeah, that's GG, you know it, everybody knows it. Nicely done there, Twinkie, with the high caliber the sick, and the damage. Do you get any more? Let's see. So you're going to get the cap. That's going to be a nice little boost to uh, your skill, I'm sure. And then, yes, open up. I wouldn't AP just because you're at, at, at max range. Even if you hit. Let's see. Let's see how much you get if you hit. Okay, so you get two hits. I can't see how much you got on that one. I wouldn't be APing because he's so far away. I'd still say your better bet is to HP, yeah. So three hits got you 1800. So you're getting a little more damage, but the damage difference is honestly, unless you're gonna Citadel, and even if you Citadel, what's the what's the AP damage if you Citadel? Okay, 2200 if you Citadel. Even if you Citadel, the damage is negligible. I'd be HEing to try to get those off. Torps out towards him. Good, I like the set of torps. I would have, one thing I would have recommended is one widespread, one narrow spread if he stays on that line. And at this point, you're at 8,500. Smoke up, smoke up. You got a Gallant back there to spot him. You got a Leander there. Smoke up and save yourself. Still firing AP, are you gonna get that Citadel? 1,400, ooh, Leander goes down. So yeah, you're gonna have to do a little bit more work. But now the Gallant is just spamming him. Yeah, see, there we go, 1,200 on the AP. Take the HE, get the fires, get the fires. And yeah, I, once again, smoke up, make sure you're not getting yourself hurt here. Looks like he's gonna dodge your torps. Another 1,100, dodge nicely. At this point, even if you wanted to wait at this point, the Fuso's out, you might as well smoke up and that's gonna be dead, isn't it? Yep. Nicely done on the game. So let's see what your results are. Let's see what your results are. So your results. 73,000 total damage, 176,000 credits earned. 63 shell hits, 5 torpedo hits, 2 destroyed with the high caliber. Nicely done. And then 14,700 on the Andrea Doria, 12,000 on the Shino. That was really beautifully played on the Shino. 34k on the Friedrich and 12k on the Devonshire. Nice job. Unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, I don't have the XP screen for this game, so I can't share that with you. But it's nice to see this information. So overall thoughts, Twinkie, you played well. Like I said, the couple things I changed is just, I think the early, I, I mean, it worked out the early Torp run on the PEF, but it did leave you, I would have probably held those because yes, the damage is nice, but man, that Shinonome is scary and he shows up right afterwards, which is a problem. Um, beyond that, like I said, I just, I think you realized it quickly, which is good, but trying to back into that smoke up and back into that cap with the Devonshire pushing, you're never going to get that one better to use it or save it, use it to either smoke up and farm the, uh, Andrea Drea or just charge the Andrea Drea torp him and save the smoke for something else. And then finally, like I said, AP is not going to be really worth it on that ship. Like there's very few ships you're going to sit it out. And so with the HE, you're getting the better chance of knocking out engines, rudders, putting fires on him, which is where you're going to be far more effective on your damage. But overall, nicely played, ladies and gentlemen. And that was a quick ranked battle at eight minutes and 24 seconds, according to the time spent in battle. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, make sure to like the video, leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to help me make more great content. But, as always, this is Minnie, signing off.